so spooky. Hello? Hello? Hello friends, it is Butters. I am here at the solar house at the moment and I am in the spare bedroom. Uh, there is a desk that people use here if they ever want to stream while in town. And uh, as you guys can tell, it's kind of a mess. Um, it's really dusty. It's not pretty. There's no longer a PC here anymore. It's lacking a monitor and it just really needs some special attention. So today, I'm going to do what I did exactly in my last video, or one of my last videos, where I cleaned up my desk setup and made it a little bit prettier. I'm going to do pretty much the same exact thing here. Not as like intricate because it's not a permanent setup or anything, but I will make this prettier. I'm going to make it productive. I'm going to make it nice, or I'm going to try to at least. <laughs> I think the first thing we have to do to get into cleaning mode and feeling a little bit more elite is to actually turn on the LED lights. There we go. <laughs> we have LEDs going all around here. We can use them in the setup somehow. Haven't figured out exactly how yet, but we'll figure it out. I went ahead and took care of all of the trash that I can see, except for behind the desk there's a couple of plastic bags. And as you can see, this cable management is just stellar, let me tell you. But the desk is very dusty and uh, <laughs> you can see on the camera very well, it's quite gross. So today, I'm going to be dusting that really quick and I will see you guys soon. While cleaning, I also found some control freaks. Just a friendly reminder, use code SOAR. Use code SOAR. Looks like Captain wants to help me clean. You want to help me clean, buddy? Hello. Hello, how are you doing? Are you a kitty man? He's a kitty man. progress that we've made so far. I went ahead and left these ethernet cables down here because I don't know exactly where they attach to in the solar house. I don't want to mess up anybody. Um, but we have wiped down the desk and that's the modem on top. And what we're going to plan to do now is to shift this desk so that it works like an L desk. I actually put this part in that corner. So we're just going to rotate it like this and see how that goes. I think that'll be a lot better and it'll give a much better view of the room in general. Space. Oh, that's an L desk. Yeah, no, this is how you use an L desk, okay? Alright, now there's actually space. Now you can actually walk in here. This is so nice. Even Captain likes it. Look at him. You actually have room to walk in here. I need a sweep though. What's it? Hello, come on in. I, I, I just wanted to come in really quick. Um, whoa, there's so much space for me to step into this room yes, now. Yes, you can actually oh walk in. Oh my god. Ah. <laughs> Don't be so ecstatic. Okay, bye. <laughs> So Max scared me, I'm not happy about it, but either way, I'm very happy that he helped me move this desk into the corner. It looks way nicer. And by the way, I also went ahead and put up a light. I never use any of these lights when I record because I don't have any, but I figured I'm at the sore house. Like, let's just make this professional. Yeah! Look at the lighting. Wow. It's really bright. <laughs> I went ahead and vacuumed the floor. Here's where we are now. That's just the modem that's sitting on top because I don't really know what I want to do with it yet. But we have this guy. This little shoe rack thing. It was here before. And I kind of like the idea of putting a console on top of it because like I have in my setup, I have like monitor stands and it helps stack consoles and it looks really nice. But I feel like this is just kind of, I don't know, invasive. I mean, if I want to turn this way and play a console game or something, like, I don't know, my feet are going to be hanging on this and I don't really like that. So I'm wondering, should I move it here? Should I just, I don't know. All right, I made up my mind. I decided to move it over here and I like it a lot better. And the door, it opens, but it's not going to like 
run into it for a very long time. So I feel pretty confident with this decision, but I don't know. It just felt really cramped under there, so I moved it. Now we just have a Captain Jack. Hello, kitty. What are you doing? Now it's time to start reassembling this entire setup. I went ahead and took a lot of stuff and put it on the bed and the monitors are on the floor. There is no dedicated PC right now. As of right now, it's just gonna be a matter of whoever comes and visits the house to bring their own. Uh, in the meantime, I'll go ahead and put in my laptop to see how it works, but uh, here we go. I'm digging the placement of these monitors, but I also wanna go ahead and show you guys. Oh, he left the thing. No, go back in the thing. It was so cute. Why would you? He did that intentionally because I brought out the camera. <laughs> Is my finger gross, buddy? <laughs> Hello. <laughs> That's scaring him. I don't know what. Okay, bye. Bye, kitty. Okay, friends, with that being said, I went ahead and pretty much made this setup very malleable. It's very temporary. It's easy for somebody to move in and take over. I went ahead and cleaned it. I moved it to a space that is a lot more efficient. Instead of having that corner, you know, stick out and block the door or anything, I think it's definitely a lot more suitable where it's at right now. I'm very happy with the way this looks now. It's definitely so much less cluttered. Like, I don't know if you guys can see this. Yeah, I do have cables down here. Um, the only reason for that is because I don't know where, you know, the next person who moves in or is going to stay temporarily, I don't know where they're going to want to put their PC. I don't know if they want to put it over here, over here, on top of the desk, over here. I don't know. I left the setup to be very easily taken over depending on the user's needs. I also went ahead and gathered up all unnecessary cables and whatever else that might be unplugged that the next person may or may not want to use. I went ahead and put them on this shoe rack. Um, it's definitely, I know it looks a little bit cluttered, but I promise you it's much easier to look through than think. Uh, that's an Elgato. It's, it's, it's a cable. It's, it's a Deviat. Okay, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a mess, but okay, look. Okay. I have no idea what the next person is going to want, so I just went ahead and bundled them up and just left them here for whoever wants them. <laughs> But now with the webcam being either here or here, depending on where the person wants it, you're going to have a lovely view of this room and uh, the bed is not made. So I'm going to go ahead and make the bed and hopefully it'll look really nice on webcam. And I'm also going to temporarily set up my stream setup so I can just give it a quick test run. This is my laptop and my microphone. Um, so we'll see how it goes. After a lot of work, I think it is time for me to unveil the room that we are in. I went ahead and made the bed. I made it all pretty. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the setup because it looks magnificent and glorious. Ta-da! There it is. Oh, it's so productive. I cannot wait to stream on it. Let me show you guys what it looks like from the webcam too. Because it looks really sleek in my opinion. Check it out. Check it out. So you're going to be able to see the sore flag in the background as well. And you can also see the LEDs in the corner here. And the Supreme sticker because, you know, that's really important. But yeah, in my opinion, I think this looks like a stellar setup for any streamer in particular. Um, and I also do want to show you guys... Um, so the lighting. Alright, so the lighting was really giving me issues, like, majorly giving me issues. And because of that, I had to pretty much take matters into my own hands. I don't want to, like, shine you guys and destroy y'all with this light, but, uh, <laughs> this is a very, very, very patched together lighting system. <laughs> We'll just put it that way. So this light back here was actually used in the corner of this room, um, but it wasn't being used and I thought, well, this lighting is not very good at this streaming setup. So I went ahead and like took apart the lamp. I don't know if you guys can see the base. Here's the base and I just took it apart and I'll, I'll make that pretty eventually. I don't have any zip ties or anything, but I, I, I straight up just took apart the base and just <laughs> leaned it against the wall like this and was like, you know what? This will do. I mean, I don't know about y'all, but I think this lighting actually looks pretty damn good. And I don't know if you guys can tell in that little bottom right corner, but you can also change the color of the LEDs, which is kind of cool. I would love to get some to line uh, this wall right here. I think that would be really cool or something. I don't know. I, it, it, this is... Point is, I did as much as I could with this setup. It was a very patched together setup from things that I found at the store house, and I am very happy with the outcome. I'm always going to be looking at things to improve, but in reality, I think this setup is awesome. I mean, if I were a visitor at the solar house, I would feel pretty comfortable streaming at this setup. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little setup doodad video thing. I don't really even know what to call this. Is this like a full-on vlog? I don't know. I thought it was really interesting and fun to do. Um, I like just revamping setups and stuff and making things very comfortable and very productive. And I'm gonna be totally honest, I'm kind of feeling like streaming right now. With this whole setup and stuff, I feel comfortable enough to stream. Anyways, like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye bye